In this video, we're going to go over the class data for data analysis for lab three. All right, so we got our class data here. This is mine. Um, you may have something that looks different. Um, so let's go ahead and start with this. Uh, we already got everything calculated here from each subject. If there's anything else that you need to do uh, that you didn't have, you can scroll on up and figure out the calculations from there. Um, this just gives you a quick rundown of some of them and such. This is one's counted during the act of doing the 40 yard dash and so on. Um, so our first thing that we need to do is we need to calculate mean and standard deviation for height, leg length, leg length to height ratio, step count, step rate, step length, average velocity and average acceleration for the 40 yard dash. Okay, we did this last week. We'll just go ahead and do the average for that. And that's the average person uh, heights, height for each person. Uh, sorry, average height overall. Now we'll do uh, standard deviation of our sample. Awesome. And then we'll again drag that on over. And again, I'm going to make this two two decimal places. And let's put that in the center just for niceties. Nice niceness. All right. Now, what we're going to do is this table's in uh, more vertical fashion whereas we got this in horizontal. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paste these values over here and then I'm going to copy and paste them again here. I'm going to go below. And we're going to do this um, transpose right here. Transpose basically just took this line and put it here in the in a column, and it took this row and put here in the column. So we got our averages here and our standard deviation here. Now we'll copy that, and we can overwrite these cells like we did before. Ah, uh, that's okay. I. I didn't change it back to two decimal places, that's okay. Um, we'll for, forego that for right now. Um, I'm going to put these in the center and then right click and we'll do all borders just so it's nice looking again. Cool. And if you want, you could just delete extra ones of these again, like two, three decimal places works. Um, don't need six or more like I have here for a lot of them. <laughs> All right, now we're going to create some scatter plots. So we got a scatter plot here. Where we have step count on the x axis and height on the y axis. All right, so height, step count. This may put height on the x axis. We'll, we'll come to that uh, if need be. So these are not connected scatters, these are just sort of a random scatter. It's not a time. So yeah, it did put height on the on the Y. Let's go ahead and correct that. Let's see, that should be X values. Let's just go ahead and um, set that and the Y. Set that. All right. Hmm, what's that zero it's picking up here? Oh, it might, it, it's, it's, um, should be this, it's counting this for some reason, I don't know why. I'm just gonna highlight the data that's itself then. Let's correct that. I apologize, thought I had this worked out. Let's only select the values. Do not include the labels.
All right, that looks a lot better because now we're going from zero to 30 and we got all of our stuff over here because everything starts at about 20 here. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this so that we have our lowest at 20, just so it looks a little bit nicer. Your, your graph may look a little bit different. Mine looks more or less like this. And this will be height versus step count. All right, there we go, we got that one. Now we're gonna do step count on the uh, x-axis and leg length to height ratio on the y-axis. Let's go ahead and do that one. Scatter. Okay, same thing, we're gonna have to uh, switch these again. It's, we did it once, that's okay. Easy enough. Equal to x-axis values, y-axis values. All right, and now we will um, edit this again. Again, we're going to start at 20. All right, cool. We'll say this is... Um, Yeah, leg length, the height, ratio, uh, ratio versus step count. Accidentally selected that. All right, and now we got one more. Yes, one more. We got uh, step length on the x-axis and leg length on the y-axis. So let's go ahead and um, do this one, step length and leg length. Again, we'll have to edit this data because like, uh, step length is on the y. So let's go ahead and edit this. x-axis, y-axis. And yep, that's correct. Let's see, these start at about 1.3-ish. So we'll go ahead and set our minimum to like one. Let's just see one. Looks like uh, we can probably do 1.2. Yeah, that looks a little bit nicer. All right, now we will go ahead, well, well, let's name that first. Leg length versus step length. Doesn't look like there's too much in this data. There might be a little something, but uh, we'll go ahead and anal analyze it. Um, got your null hypothesis that you gotta state. Um, now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple of regressions. And for this regression, we're not too interested in the actual um, coefficient values, or not coefficient values, sorry, the um, regression um, slope values, that sort of thing. We're a little bit more interested, sorry, in the um, in the in the correlation that it pops out with and also the p-value. If we just ran the normal correlation um, coefficient, or sorry, co correlation function on these, we get a correlation but we can't get the p-value from it and so that's why we're using the regression. Um, we will in the uh, later in the semester be using this regression for actual um, uh, understanding of relationships and looking at um, not predictability itself, but looking at um, critting models. So looking at it as a statistical model, which in this case we're not really that interested in. Sorry for the break. Um, there was a small, small little error uh, with performing the regression. We got everything worked out now. 
So let's go ahead and do the regression. Go to data analysis regression. Sorry, the small issue I was having was with the labels. The labels seem to not uh, not be working. I guess it's because it's technically two cells here, so that might maybe why it wasn't working very well. Um, it was giving me that error. So select the Y, select the X, and uh, we're doing new worksheet. I didn't do any of these confidence levels. We're not interested in that stuff right now. We could, but we're, we're not that interested in that stuff right now. Go ahead and hit OK, and we get this output table. Cool. We'll ignore that for just a moment. We'll go back to here, and we'll do the other two that we, we have now. So data analysis regression and our second one will be uh, leg length to height ratio on the y and then step count on the x and uh, that's what we just had on our x so we can leave our x alone for this so leg length to height ratio and then double check Don't know why it's not highlighting. I'm just going to do it just, just in case. Step count. And that gives us another one here. And our last one. So data analysis. Regression. And this one is different. We have step length on our X. And we have leg length on our Y. So that's leg length. And step count length. Alright, so we got a few things here. Let's take a look at what it's asking us for. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to from uh, re report the p-value that's called the f significance in the ANOVA table. So our significance right here. And we also have um, and the correlation which is the multiple r which is right here, our multiple r. Not the r square, not the adjusted r square, we do multiple r. This is the correlation right here. Um, so we'll report those for each of these. And we can see, okay, we failed to reject here for at least this one, at least on my data. This was the second one, and then the first one, Looks like we rejected in point, point 0.727. It doesn't look like it outputs the, uh, it doesn't output the variables that are being con, um, considered here, so I'd just suggest writing them in on this sheet just so you're aware of which one's which and you can keep everything straight. I do, I do suggest that. Um, otherwise, um, once you transfer these into here, make sure you have an understanding of what those mean. There will be a correlation um, uh, correlation reference sheet on the PowerPoint for what uh, each level means. You know what's what's good, what's not not oh, not good. What's uh, highly related, what's eh, moderately related, and what's uh, got a low correlation, low, high, medium, that sort of thing. Um, otherwise. If you do have any questions, please contact your lab instructor. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.